The development of the steel drum as a musical instrument is typical of the creative energies of West Indians, using discarded objects and turning them into works of art. Steel bands originated in Trinidad in the hard years of the 1930s in the height of the Great Depression. Street musicians used the bamboo canes in fets, but following the disturbances of 1937, musicians had to find alternative sources. Oil jumps were commonplace in Trinidad at the time. The first musician to tune these pans was Ellie Manet and is the first to rub rubber round the drumsticks to strike the pan. Because of their size, these drums were dragged to waste grounds around the port of Spain. Groups of musicians gathered on evenings and the name Paniad was coined. The music forms part of the drum rhythm of Africa etched in the memories of slaves and handed down to their descendants. The beats and the rhythms of Africa proved more able to survive slavery than language. Steel pan music grew all over the Caribbean. Today, steel pan remains the only musical instrument to be made in the 20th century.